What's up guys? Today we have a Gold Ranger. Beast Morphers. Gold Ranger. Let's open them up. So this Gold Ranger actually, his name's Nate. He's a very intelligent guy. He helped create some stuff. I don't want to do a spoiler or anything like that. Um, but he, I believe he helped create Morphex later on, turning himself into the Gold Ranger. Later on, becoming the Gold Ranger of the team. Beast Morphers, yes. I haven't watched the show yet. Just doing a little homework. But I do like his costume. It looks um, fairly nice. Since it was an open box, I was able to see what's in it. I do like the little backdrop there. But here's what we're working with. So I'm going to get these guys open real quick. So he came out pretty stiff. It almost reminds me of like a big bad beetle board thing going on here. This is like rubber right there, so that's cool. Yeah, he looks pretty good. He almost looks like, yeah, he's ready for battle. He's pretty solid. So I'm also the first one to mess with him too, so. The bell, it's actually like off-centered, it looks like. But yeah, it's painted on there. It's not movable. This guy is though. Cool. So I don't see anything for them to hold weapons, blasters, or any designs on the side. But on his feet down here, do look legit. Just paint. They move kind of rough. So I'm trying to set them up. Right there. I'm going to stand right there. All right. So the first thing I noticed, though, with his, act, his other accessories, his hand right here. It's a complete fist, but it looks tiny compared to the other hands he has already installed on them. Over here, you got the little Spider-Man web shooting thing, it looks like. That's kind of funny to me. But these look like they don't represent the size of those. Here's our character's head, Mr. Nate. He looks smart. Almost has an Ezra Miller look to him. <laughs> So that's pretty cool. You got this little blaster, this little thing. Reminds me of the noisy cricket from Men in Black. Things tiny. Not bad. You may put that in his hand over here. Let's, all right, let's go. We're gonna go ahead and put that blaster here. Boom. Yeah, that thing's tiny, man. Boom. All right. That'll work for my pose. Cause I'm almost mirroring this thing too, so I do kind of like that pose too. I mean, you get creative on your own poses and stuff, but for video purposes. All right, here's the little lightning effect. Not bad. Looks like a ball of energy. Now I'm looking around. Now where do you put it? I don't see a slot. There it is. There you go. Hole there. A little burst of energy. Not bad, but it's solid, literally a solid ball. Reminds me of a cat toy. So oh, let's look at his sword. Sword looks crooked already right here. So just bent funny, probably from packaging and stuff. It's detailed, but you know, thrown together real quick. So, but it is a simple looking sword. It looks like it folds in, folds out. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this guy. Yeah, just kind of cheap plastic on this. Go ahead and make this guy hold it. Get it on there. Let's see. He's trying to bend his fingers back a little bit. Like that. There we go. Yeah, these hands, whoops. Yeah, these hands feel a lot thicker than the other ones. So, hey, whatever. Obviously a factory thing. So then he has his sword like this, bend it like that. There we go. Uh -huh. I can deal with that. Now, now he's cool looking though. He, like I said, he has a cyborg kind of feel robot feel to him. I think he has maybe too much gold on him. But hey, I can deal with that. But anyways, guys, that's the Beast Morphers Gold Ranger. 
Another thing to add to the collection. All right. For right now, we're gonna go ahead and just stick them right here next to the Phantom Ranger. Because I gotta do some organization in here. Because it's Centurion, and then my Blue Psycho. I guess they had a battle last night and they warmed out, so that's cool. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed. Till next time, kitties. Till next time.